Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the wine training. It is a system in viticulture which ensures canopy management. Now, what is canopy? Canopy is everything which is visible above the ground. So, about the plant, whatever we have, it basically has three things. Uh, one is the trunk, then we have the cordon, and then we have the stems, leaves, flowers, fruits. So, everything all together comes under the canopy. So in very very simple word we can say that it is about giving a plant our desired shape by twisting by cutting which is in professional word called pruning why it is done because the wine plant is a climbing plant and it doesn't have natural strength like other trees uh, to stand on its own so if we don't give a support by trellis wires then it will be on the ground and it will be a mess which can be affected or infected by so many disease, molds, fungus, etc. So according to the region, we make changes in the wine training system. So if the region is very hot, then we will have the wine training system which the leaves will cover the fruits to uh, stop the sunburn. If it is very humid, then we will give the space in the wine training system so that air can circulate out of it. So there will be different different changes as per the region requirements. Second thing is the placing the leaves into the right direction because leaves do a lot of job of making the alcohol finally in your wine because the, these leaves they by photosynthesis they convert the solar energy into the chemical energy uh, in carbohydrates so in presence of sun and uh, they take the carbon dioxide and water and they convert the solar energy into carbohydrates which is stored in the stems and which goes to the these uh, grapes and from the grapes this sugar is converted into alcohol by fermentation so before we learn what are the different wine training system let's look at the plant how it is pruned because it is important to understand so basically in very very basic manner it can be pruned in two different methods one is called cane pruning and second is called the spur pruning so if we are doing pruning is basically cutting so when we are doing the cane pruning that means we are cutting the strong uh, woody part of the plant and we are leaving the uh, spurs uh, the flexible uh, green uh, stems to have the our growth in the coming season so whatever the grapes and plants and the uh, the leaves will come that will come on the spur and in the spur pruning we leave this strong permanent part and we cut down all the spurs from the uh, the plant and so we will have all the new shoots and everything coming on the cane so these are the two different method and according to this the pruning is done in uh, maximum vineyards and they, that is given different shapes now why we do the pruning why we do the cutting uh, to conserve the energy so we want our plant to give maximum energy for making the fruit flavors more better more concentrated so we don't want to uh, if we don't cut it if we don't do pruning then it will you know it will grow according to um, its own uh, nature and it will grow uh, all the parts it will grow a lot of leaves it will grow a lot of stems and the energy with whatever it is getting it will be diluted and it will not be given to the fruit so we want our fruit to be concentrated that's why we we do this uh, cutting and pruning it is in french uh, aoc even uh, it is mentioned that how many spurs how many uh, shoots you can have in one spur so it is so much of basic that in france uh, it is it is mentioned in the affiliation the origin control so number one is the goblet which is without trellis wires so whenever you go into vineyards you will see the posts and the trellis wire so this wire is used for uh, twisting the wine uh, stems around so in this goblet style we don't have any trellis wire we don't have um, uh, posts we just cut everything and we leave the uh, the middle strong stem uh, to have the fruit and the leaves number two is the pergola pergola is a very ancient type of uh, um, the wine training system which is uh, used by the romans 
so it is basically uh, used in a hot regions where the sun sunlight is too uh, strong or scorching which will damage the uh, grape the fruit and it will get it uh, sunburn so this in this type of a style we cover the fruit with the leaves uh, the uh, leaves and the stems and the fruit is hanging down from the pergola uh, which is protected from the strong sun and later on it can be also harvested by the machine number 3 is the geneva double curtain or gdc it is called uh, it can be divided in uh, two different uh, trellis wires and it is uh, the cordon and which has the stems hanging down from the top to the bottom number 4 is the layer trellis system which is uh, uh, spaced out the cordons are spaced out for air circulation uh, and sunlight so it is usually uh, found in regions which is uh, very humid and the fruit need some air the plant need some air to be circulated so that is why these are spaced out from each other number 5 is the hill post and hill post as the name suggests it is found in the hills or slopey areas like in mose region of germany or in ron valley so wherever there is a steep slope these hill posts are um, placed these hill posts are not connected to each other like in uh, vineyards we have the trellis wire which is connecting all the vines uh, together but it is individual plants which is supported by a post so the post and um, it is it has the stalk and it has the canes which is uh, twisted in a heart shape so these are found in the especially in the hill regions or steep slopey areas number 6 is the vertical positioning system it is found in uh, so many of the uh, wine regions which are on the plain uh, not in the hills or slopey areas so wherever there is a plain normally this type of uh, wine training system is followed it has uh, three wires one is one is for the cane or cordon so cane or cordon is twisted along with this and um, the two wires is used for directing the uh, stems when fruits and plant and the leaves so everything comes on that and so it, it can be um, it can be on two different sides and it can be on one side depending on the vintner depending upon the wine grower how he wants to make it according to his region uh, this is called the vertical positioning system so number 7 is the basket it is the woven basket of a cane and the fruit sits in the middle in the center of this basket and it is saved from the scorching sun and from the heavy wind uh, it is saved and uh, this is the this is the reason why why it is made like this because of the place where it is grown the the wind is very uh, fast and and the heat is too much that it can Um, spoil it can give the sun burn to the grapes that is why it is kept in the middle of the basket which saves it from all these type of uh, environmental damages so these were the seven famous wine training system in the world found around the vineyards um, uh, if you have any question you can write in the comment below thank you so much for watching